If you think about it carefully, we already have a very clear mandate in the sciences, which under certain circumstances might even be called political. Part of our responsibility is to talk about risks. Risks of technology, risks of human behavior, risks of everything that the future brings. We know this particularly well from health research. Everyone would admit that the scientific findings on the consequences of smoking, for example, must be revealed. Strangely enough, with the Earth system and climate, we are often not allowed to do so. There are strict words, science should not be allowed to be appropriated. But when I realize that CO2 and the temperature are increasing and know why and what consequences that has, and if I can read from the history of the Earth how CO2 and temperature are connected, then I must say very clearly, we cannot afford any more CO2 in the atmosphere because the risk is too high. It's absolutely a task for research to announce risks and make provisions for society. Anzukündigen und Vorsorge zu treffen für die Gesellschaft. Then we learn at the same time from Earth System research that we only have 10 more years if we strive to maintain the 800 gigatons, which correspond with 1.5 to 2 degrees Celsius. And these 10 years will be consumed by new coal-fired power stations, including those Germany is building. Of course people listen to scientists. It just takes quite a while for it to translate into the kind of actions that really bring about solutions. We know that for some years now, since it has gotten so hot in the summer, people have been saying that climate protection is the first priority. Even across Europe, the majority of citizens now believe that climate protection is more important than job security. These are huge changes. There would not have been such survey results five years ago. It is absolutely right to feel fear, but it must lead to mobilization, not paralysis. We have to ensure that there is utopia, that there are visions of the future about which we as human beings are able to say, this is where we want to go. We do not want to go where all coral reefs are dead. We want to go where nature has a place. At the end of 2019, Boetius received the Federal Cross of Merit from President Walter Steinmeier for her commitment to the interests of society. In the laudation it says, her voice has great credibility and she is heard. This clearly stands for active social responsibility.